What's up? My name is Justin Mark, and in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about my experience on magic mushrooms. Now, weird video. Honestly, never thought I'd make this video. To be honest, uh, always thought this video would be very weird to like almost like come out and say, I do drugs, but I wouldn't even consider mushrooms, psilocybin mushrooms, a drug. I would consider it more of a natural remedy, a medicine, a therapy. Okay, it's very weird. And uh, for me to even convey the experiences from my head into words is very difficult, but I'm gonna try my best in this video. Now, I have made this video, I wanna make it very clear, for educational purposes only. I do not recommend you go out and try random drug substances. Now, I also uh, highly recommend you do your own research with anything. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medical professional. I'm just a guy who's gonna share my experience with you, okay? Back in 2015, I was diagnosed by a doctor with depression. And this doctor said to me, Justin, you're gonna have depression for your whole life. And I remember thinking, fuck this guy. He has an agenda and he's just gonna try to like push his little pill on me to try to, <laughs> you know, get me to be a consumer, purchase their little drug that fixes my brain. And one thing that I realized was he was right. I had depression my entire life. From the time I was like 10 years old, I remember feeling depression, right? A lot of uh, mental health disorders are genetic or even like inherited from your environment. And my father, he had depression his whole life, right? And so growing up, seeing my father with depression, I guess I naturally grew into having it myself. Uh, also, a lot of the experiences life gave me, that's, that's pretty much where it came from. And it, it's interesting because just because one has depression doesn't mean you can't be a high achiever. Doesn't mean you can't be successful. Doesn't mean you can't be happy. And doesn't mean you can't live an amazing life. I remember at the time I had a really cute girlfriend. Um, I was in college and I was just thinking, fuck this doctor, fuck what he's telling me. I'm gonna go out and do something productive today. And that's gonna fix my depression. And so I went, I remember I went up uh, to my college computers, was looking at these like interesting YouTube comments and I decided to film a video that day where I use YouTube comments to go talk to girls. I thought it'd be a funny video. That video ended up getting 25 million views and I was thinking, wow, it's so crazy because I remember I was like pretty much having a mental breakdown. My mental health was horrible. I remember literally even building up the strength to reach out to a doctor thinking, hey, this guy will help me. <laughs> he didn't care, right? And uh, so trying to fix what was internal with the external, it was cool and it was fun, but it didn't necessarily work. Because I had started a business that year, I was making money, I had a cute girlfriend, I was getting YouTube clout, I was you know, experiencing all these things that should make me happy, but I wasn't happy. I was miserable inside and I just didn't feel good or fulfilled. So one thing that really did help me was clean eating. So I completely quit drinking, uh, smoking weed, and was just exercising and being healthy. But that also didn't really help me that much. And it did, it made massive, massive, massive improvements in my mental health. Um, I read a book called The Ultra Mind Solution by Dr. Mark Hyman. And at the time it was a bit of a almost new age type book where it's talking about how your, your gut bacteria and your nutrition affects your mental health. And in most recent times, there has been uh, new scientific data that proves that. So where does mushrooms come in with all of this? So after about six months, of you know this doctor telling me oh you're depressed you know i didn't really feel depressed i had uh you know wavering mental health like it was it was like up and down and up and down but overall i think it was like pretty good for someone who a doctor says you're gonna have a lifelong depression i had a friend who had seen my youtube content much older than me i would have been 20 years old at the time this friend of mine was 40 and he asked me to come to his apartment and take mushrooms with him and i was just thinking what the fuck this old man wants me to come to his house and take drugs with him. This is so weird and I was so against it, but he pretty much convinced me over the course of a few weeks uh, that this would be good for me, great for mental health and has all these therapeutic benefits. And I couldn't see it because I would never even done my own research. I never even could understand or even fathom uh, the experience of doing mushrooms if I hadn't even tried it, right? So how am I supposed to, you know, understand what it's like to do psilocybin mushrooms if I've never done it. So 
I did a lot of research. I went online, I looked at Reddit. There was a Reddit subreddit called reddit.com slash r slash shrooms. I did a lot of research. And a lot of people are saying that taking psilocybin mushrooms changed your life, cured the depression. And if you even look at a lot of the new data and science that's coming out, mushrooms is now being decriminalized, even borderline legalized for medicinal purposes in a lot of places around the States and in Canada. So it's really crazy. Uh, I actually even have a friend who is working in a hospital in Toronto doing research with psilocybin, testing uh, the effects it has on cognitive function. So I decided to try mushrooms and my entire world opened up. Keep in mind this was five years ago and I can still remember it as if it was yesterday. I remember just sitting on the couch, just being like, what the, f just like, pff, like everything just falling into perspective. Almost in a weird way, I felt like we are all connected as one. I know this sounds really weird, really hippie, but I could just see the whole world from like an outer perspective and just understand how things work at a more fine tuned level. I kind of just understood how the way you treat people, you know, kind of comes back to you, almost like the law of karma. And I could just see how everybody was just connected directly or indirectly, right? Similarly, how if I'm friends with someone and he's friends with someone, he's friends with someone, it always will come back to me. And so it's crazy. They actually call that six degrees of separation where they say everyone on the planet is indirectly friends with each other. Like you know, so, like you probably know me watching this video through at least six friends. Like you might have a friend who has a friend who has a friend who is friends with one of my friends, right? And so this is how this works. And I could really, really see it. And it's almost like my whole world opened up to a new way of thinking. Before ever trying mushrooms, I only saw like linearly. I only would listen to what people told me, uh, what school, society, the government, whoever would bestow upon me. And when I was about 17, 18 years old, I got really into self-development. I got into uh, entrepreneurship, self-development, and this interesting industry called PUA, where it's, it's kind of like a men's self-help kind of industry. And it was interesting because after I discovered that material, it opened up like a new way of thinking. So now I had like two ways of thinking. I had like the normal, like normal, what society considers normal for you way of thinking, right? Go to school, get a job, go to college, uh, you know, use that part-time job to pay off my college and then graduate from college, pay off my student loans. Like that was what my life was gonna be. I was probably gonna become accountant or some sort of like weird random fucking career path that wouldn't make me happy. I remember working for the Ministry of Transportation of Ontario in Canada and just thinking, this is such a fucking weird job, I don't like this, right? So after I took mushrooms, it was so weird because it's almost like I just had a new reality that I could live in. And I know this sounds crazy and a lot of people watching this will be like, whoa, I don't want that. But that's not necessarily how it was. It was just like, I could see things a lot more for how they were. And it just felt a lot happier and a lot more spiritual. It's almost as if I'd never even had a spiritual side to me and the spiritual side opened up. So after about six months, I noticed that my mental health was amazing. I was going out, hanging out with friends. I was just happy. I was honestly happy. Uh, I remember even later that year, I ended up in a wheelchair because I broke my foot and it was one of the happiest times of my life. Like all the memories from that year were just very like good, just good times. So I remember trying mushrooms again and <laughs> It's almost like this was an entirely different experience altogether, where the mushrooms told me to move to Australia. And you're thinking, what? Justin, the mushrooms told you to move to Australia? But pretty much what, two of my best friends had moved to Australia to go study, and they called me up telling me to come visit. And it's almost as if like taking mushrooms, I intuitively knew I have to do this thing. So I had a new girlfriend that I was recently seeing, and I decided to end it with her and move to Australia. Crazy, right? This was uh, at this point four years ago. And it, it's just so crazy to think how much has changed in that time. Since then, uh, I have taken mushrooms every couple years, sorry, every couple months. Now, I would say every three to four months, sometimes only twice a year for the last few years. And it has had major, major life changing impacts on my life. Now, there's many ways to do mushrooms, okay? You can do pretty much standard doses, which would be a three gram dose, which 
you pretty much have a standard mushroom trip. And it, it's crazy because I've had so many different experiences. It's almost like every time you partake in a mushroom trip, you're having an incredibly different experience, All right? It, it's like even me trying to put this into words doesn't even do justice. Like your perception right now, watching this video, to try to understand what I went through, you're not gonna understand it, but I'm trying my best, okay? It is a entire different world you live in. What I noticed after years and years of trying these things, and you know, I made sure to maintain my legalities. Uh, and so a good example is, is flying to Amsterdam and purchasing truffles, which is legally sold in stores in Amsterdam. And every single time I did it, it was just a different experience, right? I remember tripping balls with my ex-girlfriend, Laura, in the park in Amsterdam, and it was an overwhelming experience. And I was thinking, I remember specifically that day, I was thinking, why are we here? Why do we exist, right? And it, it was almost like a bad trip. But what I noticed was I was just like letting go of a lot of like baggage that I was mentally carrying around. So lately I've actually been studying spiritual growth and in a lot of spiritual growth, meditation, they talk about how as humans, we don't really let go of things. It's almost like we carry around all this information and experiences we've been through. So if you go through something traumatizing, in your childhood, your young adulthood, or even in modern day, right? The modern <laughs> stresses of life, right? You're carrying around all this baggage. And if you don't meditate and let it go, you're carrying it around. So it's almost like a mushroom trip is like a decompression of all these heavy experiences you're carrying around. So I remember sitting there in Amsterdam, just questioning like, why did my parents give birth to me? Like, what, what is this? What, why am I here, right? And you know, I was very inhibited. Um, I was like screaming in the park. There was like a homeless man just screaming at me to shut up. My, my girlfriend was like, Justin, calm down. Like what's going on, right? She took me to the bathroom. I ended up like peeing everywhere. I ended up like peeing on her by accident because I was just so <laughs> fucking high, right? And it was crazy. But one thing that I noticed was over the next few weeks, my depression lifted. I, I had this very heavy depression in 2018 uh, and it was stemming from a lack of success in business. And what happened was after that heavy mushroom trip in Amsterdam, I flew back to my home city of Toronto and I ended up uh, just taking my business from zero to 20, 30 grand a month and just killing it and just being like very fulfilled and happy. And I just felt so spiritually and mentally and physically aligned that for four or five months straight, I just worked and worked and worked and worked, made more money than I ever had in my life, took my girlfriend on these beautiful, amazing vacations. Uh, it was just really crazy. Um, I got the chance to just really experience life because of this really heavy mushroom trip that influenced me into just going for what I want. That mushroom trip made me very nihilistic, made me very, uh, you know, almost like I could die at any moment to so live life to the fullest. Right. Then I had another mushroom trip right before I went to South America again with my girlfriend. I was kind of fighting with my girlfriend because I was stressed out about all this work that I now had to partake in. And I was just overwhelmed. Uh, she just wanted, you know, lovey dovey time. And so I was like, okay, cool. Let's just do shrooms together. And it was crazy because I remember this was an entirely new experience. I started tripping balls, talking to a fairy. Yes. You heard me, I was talking to a fairy, okay? I would close my eyes and I saw this fairy and she was in charge of reincarnation and changing nature. And of course you're thinking like, what the fuck is this guy talking about, right? Well, this was my mushroom trip. And she told me, Justin, you need to stop eating animals because you're an animal. And if you stop eating animals, I will give you all the money and all the bitches you want. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm happy, I have a girlfriend, I don't want bitches, right? And uh, a few months later, I was single. Just me, me and the girlfriend went to uh, South America on vacation, spent so much time together that we were just like sick of each other. I was, it, it became this like toxic relationship we had to break up and uh, we ended, right? And even before we ended, I remember taking mushrooms with her again. And I could see things clearly. I could see that this wasn't my girlfriend anymore. She had, you know, matured into her own woman who was like independent of me. And uh, like we weren't, we weren't really partners anymore. And it, it's so crazy how every single time I've taken mushrooms has just been a completely 
completely different experience, right? It's just been insane. It's just been completely different. I can't even put it into words. It's almost like every time you take it, it's just a different trip, right? And that's why they call it mushroom trips because you go on these like very mental solo journeys where it's all about, you know, letting go of the past and just being present. Okay, that's one commonality I find um, that maintains itself. And so it's, it's crazy to see how, you know, these mushroom trips over the last few years have almost like shaped my personality and just becoming this strong, charismatic individual that I grew into, even though I've still maintained my depression. It's crazy because even more recently, I was in Mexico and I had a new girlfriend that I was seeing, great girl uh, for the time being when we were together. And um, I remember asking her like, do you know where I can get mushrooms? Because I felt my mental health deteriorating because of the COVID quarantine and uh, just other reasons. And I knew that mushrooms would help me get out of it. And so unfortunately we weren't able to even find mushrooms. But uh, when I came back to Canada, my home city of Canada, Tom, very easy access, very, very easy access. And I even did it recently. And I noticed that I just felt very masculine and very grounded. Um, nothing crazy, no, no fairies, no crazy like woo woo experiences. One thing I've just noticed is that every time I partake in this experience, I am left with the feeling of fulfillment or just being okay with myself. Just being okay with whatever life is throwing me. Wherever I'm at in life, just okay with it. You know, not happy, not sad, just okay. Like it's good and this is where I'm meant to be. And it's so weird because I don't even know how many times I've partaken in this experience. I would say between like 20 to 30 times, okay? And uh, even right now, I am microdosing. I started microdosing it because it's a whole different way to take it, which permanently changes your brain. Uh, if you take 100 milligrams instead of the standard three gram uh, dose per day, three days on per week. So like, let's say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you take it and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you don't take it. Over the course of like a month or two, this will actually rewire your brain, like fix a lot of mental health issues that are occurring in your life. And so I've noticed that I've been able to time and time again, overcome this depression that this doctor diagnosed me with, right? Five years ago, this depression that was mentally holding me back my entire life, this depression that was holding me to the ground when I want to fucking soar and fly. And since I first did mushrooms, I have traveled to, I've traveled over 50 countries now. Uh, I've dated amazing, amazing women. I've experienced so much of life. I have done so much because it opened my mind to what was possible. It opened my mind to realizing that I could do anything I want. I can go anywhere I want. I can be anybody who I want to be. I can experience life from whatever experience I wanna experience it from. And you know, I can be happy as well. I can, and I have, and it's been fucking amazing, seriously. So that's just a little bit about what the experience has been. When I try to logically think about how can I put into words, it's very difficult because I've got all these experiences and these intensity of emotions. And it's like, how does one logically convey that emotion and those experiences into words to speak to you for you to understand, right? It can be very fucking difficult, but I've tried my best. From seeing fairies to like, I remember the first time I did it, I was also like seeing spirits. I was like looking around and I was just like, I could see particles. I, I remember like closing my eyes and I saw this like old man with a ticking clock and just like, it's like tick tock and it was like very hypnotic and I was like, what the hell, right? And it's almost like every time um, I've even taken it, I'll close my eyes and I'll just see different visuals. I remember one time uh, taking it, you know, putting a blanket over my face and I felt like I was on a roller coaster. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. Like just very intense. And it was such a weird experience that every time I've taken it has been a different experience, but it, it's crazy because you can actually guide your trips into whatever you want. So I know I've just been kind of ranting I didn't really plan out this video. I kind of just wanted to give it to you, okay? Um, no, I'm not high on mushrooms right now, if that's what you're wondering. Um, I want to give you some advice and feedback to, if you were to do it, how to do it right. And again, I don't condone anyone doing drugs. Do your own research. I'm only making this for educational purposes only. 
But what I love to do before a mushroom trip, this is something you have to do, is go into it with purpose. You need to go into the experience with purpose. So I don't take it for fun. In fact, I don't even like it. I don't enjoy it. I don't think it's a fun experience. Seriously, I literally don't enjoy it. It's overwhelming, it's anxiety inducing. But again, it's all about that deep compression, like facing whatever you need to face, letting it go. I remember um, literally the day I'd broken up with a long-term ex-girlfriend of mine. It was a girl I was living with, traveling around the world with, spent a lot of my time with. I'd even asked her to marry me. Well, it didn't work out for whatever reason. And I remember just, even though it was like my choice or like partly my choice or like majority of my choice or whatever, right? I still felt immense pain and loss. And so I remember uh, buying a shit ton of mushrooms. I think I bought 14 grams, which was, was that like a half ounce? And I went to my parents' condo, me and my brother, my little brother just took it all down. And I remember just feeling this overwhelming feelings of loss, but I was able to kind of let it go and let it pass. Right. And over the next few months after that, it was like a, you know, just like any breakup, a tough recovery bouncing back. Right. But it was a very interesting experience because being able to just like embrace the emotions and feel it fully, well, the worst is already over. So what they teach when you're taking mushrooms is it's all about set and setting your mindset and the setting you're in. Okay, so what kind of environment are you in? Are you with people you trust, an experience that you're okay experiencing, an environment you're comfortable in? So for example, I did it with my brother, someone I'm very close with, and uh, at my parents' condo, so somewhere that's very comfortable, right? And so I made sure I'm in a comfortable environment in a good setting. Now, also being with people you trust is very important. I've oftentimes had people who are like complete strangers say, I wanna try mushrooms with you. And personally, I feel that's very weird. I don't think I could do mushrooms with someone I'm not like tight with because I feel like it's a very intimate experience. It's a very like intimate thing. And it's something that can really bond you. So I've taken it with uh, intimate partners of mine. For example, an ex-girlfriend that I was dating, very, very deep, passionate relationship we were in. And I remember uh, one time we had this massive fight early in our relationship that could have ended our relationship just a few months in. But we took mushrooms together understood each other's perspectives and experiences because we had come from different countries. We had come from two completely different worlds. And just the feeling of being able to understand this person fully, or at least not fully, but at least a glimpse into their life, it helped me just be okay with being with her. And she felt the same way with me. And so it was able, like we were able to like fix our relationship when she'd actually decided that, you know, maybe we're, this isn't the right relationship for us. So it's crazy how this works, right? Where you can actually significantly change uh, your experiences in life, your relationships with taking this stuff. But again, it's all about set and setting. It's who you're doing with, it's the people around you, right? That's a big one. And the environment you're in and the mindset you're in. So for example, we just talked about how after I broke up with that girlfriend, I was in a horrible mindset and I took a very heavy dose. I think it was like nine grams. I, I didn't even measure it really. I was just eating out of the bag between seven and nine grams of mushrooms. And I'm a small guy. It was a fucking heavy dose. And you know, I was in a horrible mindset. I probably shouldn't have done it. It was probably a bad move. Um, it didn't actually help me. Actually, it was a very, very dark experience too. Um, don't know if it even was beneficial, but it was an experience I had. And, uh, probably wouldn't do that again, right? Because I was in a bad mindset. It uh, was a very dark experience, right? I had just broken up with a woman I was deeply in love with, a woman I thought I had a long-term future with. And I remember just in the fetal, being in the fetal position for hours, for hours, right? And it was a very hard thing to process, right? That this person's gone, they're gone in my life. Like I couldn't even believe it, right? And so you gotta be really, really careful. So again, it's all about set and setting. It's about being in the right mindset, being in a positive mindset, being in a place where you want to be better, okay? And then having purpose in the trip. So what I usually do is I will get a piece of paper, a little small sheet of paper, get a pen and pencil, pen or pencil, write down a few things 
that I want to figure out mentally. Okay, so another good example. One time I took mushrooms to mentally deal with the insecurity that I had inside. I took it by myself, just took a standard, I think it was like three grams by myself, right? Just dealt with it mentally by myself. And by the end of it, I just felt like I let go of any insecurity I had, just felt very confident, very alpha in my own self, comfortable in my own skin, and just felt great about my relationship. And so, it's crazy how you can actually go into this with purpose. You can actually go into uh, these mushroom trips with an underlying reason, an underlying purpose, okay? So I always do this, or I try to always do this anytime I do mushrooms. And it's probably the best way to do it, is you wanna go into it having that underlying reason. Anything you wanna mentally work through, any kind of experience you wanna like deal with, maybe it's something from your past that's bothering you. Maybe it's some sort of like thing that's blocking you mentally. Maybe it's uh, a goal you might have. Well, write that down, right? Take a pen and paper, write down five, 10, whatever the fuck it is, how many things that you wanna deal with. But again, you're gonna have to deal with all these things mentally in that mushroom trip. And you know, a standard mushroom trip can be anywhere from three to six hours, depending on how much you take. Uh, also, depending on your body, depending on the strain of, you know, psilocybin mushrooms that you're taking, uh, depending on all kinds of things. So you never know how long it'll last. You don't want to be overthinking. So I would recommend no more than five major things that you want to deal with mentally. So usually for me, it's uh, something related to business or a relationship I'm in or, you know, my, my life situation or just whatever it is. And it's almost like when you're feeling lost in life, it's the perfect time to do it because you can find the answers within yourself. In Buddhism, they teach you that. They teach you that everything is within you. Well, with mushrooms, it's like you're just going really fucking deep within yourself very quickly. It's like, imagine like drilling a tunnel to your own fucking soul and just figuring it out whatever it is you needed to within yourself. That's really what it, it is. That's the best way I can describe it. And so it is a very solo journey. It's something that just comes from within. And it's, it's really crazy when I think about the actual experience of doing it, because again, it's something that everyone should try at some point in their life. And if you ever have these things that are bothering you mentally, or you find yourself in a rut for too long, or if you find yourself in an experience that you're just not happy in life, then this is what you gotta do. You gotta shake things up. When I find myself depressed, this might not be a good thing. I fucking shake things up. I book a flight to another country. Recently, I caught myself in an experience where I just found myself I wasn't happy for months. Just wasn't happy, right? And I was like, why the fuck am I not happy? Fuck this. And I just book a flight back to my home city of Canada, which I hadn't been to in almost a year. And I felt happy again. I just felt really good and great and fulfilled, right? And so you just gotta ask yourself, what it is you want in life? And uh, when you're taking psilocybin mushrooms, the answers just come out. I can't really even put into words, but the answers, they're inside yourself. It just comes out, okay? And you gotta be really careful. Again, do your own research. There's tons of amazing content online that talk about this stuff. So mushrooms, like shrooms, subreddit on Reddit has all the information that you would need uh, to understand how to do it in a very safe environment if you're a beginner or whatever level you're in. Um, there's tons of YouTube content that talks about how it affects your brain. So from my understanding, uh, mushrooms pretty much almost like creates new neural pathways in your brain. And so it was crazy how the long-term benefits from like a solid shroom trip just affected my mental health. Like I just felt fucking aligned spiritually. Like I just felt very in touch with myself. I just felt very happy, but not necessarily happy because I feel like happy is a very fleeting moment or sorry, emotion. I tried to say moment and emotion at the same time. So I said moments, but it's a very fleeting moment or emotion, right? It's something that just comes and goes. It's something that's just there for the moment and then goes away, right? And it's funny because like, you don't want to be chasing happiness. You want to be chasing fulfillment. Well, with mushrooms, you can just get in touch with who you are, right? From figuring out who that is inside yourself. 
figuring out where it's coming from and just feeling fucking aligned. Okay, just feeling aligned. Getting back to that place of alignment where you know, you're know you falling off, just getting back to center. And I find that the months after a very strong mushroom trip or a strong dose, it's not that you necessarily took a lot, it's just that maybe you needed it. You need to like work with some shit in your head and figure things out or have a weird woo woo spiritual experience. Well, I find that things just go upwards, always goes upwards. Even more recently, I found myself tripping balls in a forest with my buddy George. And it was weird as fuck because I'm walking home, I see like leaves swirling in the wind and I'm like, oh my God, are spirits watching me? I start like feeling all these intense emotions and it really gets you to your spiritual core. I feel like it really gets you in touch with, you know, what's inside. But the difference between mushrooms and other drugs is I feel like a lot of drugs don't really come from reality. Like, I wouldn't even consider mushroom a drug. I would consider it a natural remedy, a natural therapy. Now, let's get to why mushrooms is illegal. So in the 1970s, there was something called the War on Drugs that was started by Richard Nixon and uh, pushed further by Ronald Reagan in the United States. Now, this had spread to, I believe, 180 plus countries out of the 200 countries on the planet. And so pretty much the entire world was like, let's look, let's do what the US is doing. Let's ban all drugs. But the thing is, mushrooms has been taken since the beginning of time. Seriously, it's literally been consumed by humans since the beginning of like our evolution, right? If you look at ancient cave paintings that they found that cavemen used to live in, they were drawing like psilocybin mushrooms or like what people would describe are magic mushrooms. It's crazy as fuck because I remember even a couple weeks ago, I took some shrooms and uh, I would close my eyes and I would just see that like, it was weird. I would just see like different colors and shit. And it's like the same thing that like, a caveman would be painting on the fucking wall while tripping balls. And so it's pretty well documented. And again, do your own research. This is proven. I've done a lot of research on this. I've spent a lot of time, uh, you know, researching this stuff. But it, it was weird because there's a lot of evidence to back up that humans have been taking shrooms since the beginning of time. To get even weirder than that, in a lot of different cultures and societies, humans have been tripping in different ways, right? In Peru, they took ayahuasca. In uh, Mexico, they took peyote, it's like a Mexican cactus. And all of these would kind of give you a very similar experience, obviously different drugs, different effects on the brain. But mushrooms has been found all over the world and humans have been taking it all over the world. And even in modern society, a lot of really successful people have taken or tried psychedelic drugs. A lot of people don't know this, but in the Silicon Valley, a lot of these tech companies, a lot of the executives, they microdose LSD because it makes your brain think a different way. And uh, it's almost like in, in microdoses, it's almost like a performance enhancing drug that allows you to, uh, you know, work really well and just be very motivated and get a lot of shit done. It also allows you to think outside the box and, you know, see things from different perspectives. So in a way, it's almost like cheating for business is what I found. It's almost like gives you like an extra competitive edge. Now, again, be very careful, do your own research. And I'm only sharing this with you uh, for educational purposes, right? <laughs> Isn't that right, guys? But um, so you want to make sure that if you do do it, you get it from a trustworthy source and uh, you do your own research, look into it because anything that can alter your brain or your perception of reality almost has the potential to hurt you. It does, and honestly, that's just the fact. That's just the reality, right? My father used to tell me, don't think with your dick and don't fuck with your brain, right? And so that's really good advice. I would give that same advice to you, is just be really careful if you're gonna do it. I've only done it uh, as a, I guess you could say, self-medicating, you know, experience where like, I don't want to take these random fucking drugs the doctors and these pharmaceutical companies want to push on me. So I'm just gonna take psilocybin instead. Now, back to the war on drugs and why mushrooms is illegal. Now, let's think about it for a second, okay? If you think about the world we live in, we all live in these capitalistic societies. Unless you're from Cuba and you don't have the internet and you're watching this video, right? So you're not from Cuba. Unless you're from Russia, which you're probably not. Uh, so 
you know, unless you're from Laos, because I've, I've been to Laos, it's a communist country, unless you're from China, right? You probably have access to the internet, the same knowledge I have on the internet. We all have, we live in this information age. We live in this world where literally, Moments ago, before I was making this video, I had a VR headset on my fucking face because my bestie just bought a VR headset. We live together and uh, we're like playing video games. I'm in virtual fucking reality shooting at people and it like looks like fucking reality. I'm like, holy fuck, right? And so we live in this crazy technological world. A lot of people don't realize that, but you know, you've got data and information at your fingertips, right? Even while I'm making, this video, you know, one of my friends who's very far away from me just texted me saying he hooked up with a girl, right? Some guy named Varun Rathod messaged me on Snapchat. Some guy followed me on Instagram. We're living in this weird fucking world, right? So you're thinking, look, we live in this complex society. So Justin, why is mushrooms illegal? Why is it a crime? Why is it considered a drug if we live in this well-educated, well-developed society? Well, simply put, we also live in a capitalistic societies. And if you look at big pharma in the United States, right? Pharmaceutical companies, what is their main agenda? To make money, shareholders, the bottom line. I run a business, I love money. I love making money. But at the end of your life, you're gonna die. <laughs> you don't take that money with you. So I truly believe that real knowledge, real information, real experiences should be shared with the world right? No matter what. And that's why I'm making this video. So here's the truth. A lot of high level guys know that, you know, the pharmaceutical companies want to just push these pills on you to kind of almost mask your symptoms instead of get to the root cause of it and remove it. So what's funny is if you look at most pharmaceuticals, it's usually to deal with the symptoms, not to deal with the root cause of the problem, right? If you look at, you know, most illnesses, right? The pharmaceutical companies are giving you like a little pill to mask the symptoms, suppress your coughing, you know, suppress your fever, right? Instead of dealing with it properly, right? So instead of getting sick, why are we not preaching that you should take vitamins? I have a friend in LA, his name's Owen Cook. He injects vitamins in his body. I think he does it like once every couple weeks or a couple times a month or something, I'm not sure. He will go to a special clinic, take an IV, stick in his arm and inject himself with vitamins. Even myself, I take daily supplements, daily. Um, I take uh, omega-3s, probiotics, and then the big ones is green superfood. You can go get that on Amazon. I don't get sick. I pretty much never get sick because I take these supplements. And then heavy doses of vitamin C, I try to take between 500 to 1000 milligrams per day. Uh, vitamin D really helps with dealing with depression as well because uh, I live in Canada and we don't get a lot of sunlight here So it helps you kind of like deal with mental health. So I know we're getting off track here I know we're like what the fuck is this guy talking about bear with me. We're gonna get back on track I take all these supplements to deal with my health to make sure I don't get sick and I never get sick And for the most part even though a doctor diagnosed me with depression. I have fucking great mental health Seriously, I have really, really great mental health, especially when I look at the people around me. I have fucking really good mental health. I'm pretty up there. It's not 100, but it's like usually around like 80%, okay? Pretty good. And so what's interesting is these doctors, they're pushing you like Zoloft or, uh, fuck, I can't remember. There's this one pill my dad used to take for his depression. But what I noticed is it almost just like dumbs you down and like stomps out your personality, stomps out the symptoms and it like numbs you. That's really what it, what these medications do is they numb you, right? And again, I'm not a doctor, but this is just my experience of seeing these things, seeing friends of mine, family of mine go with these experiences, right? So if you have depression and you go to the doctor and he pushes you this pill, do you not realize that there's an agenda there? Maybe this doctor has shares invested in that company, right? Maybe he's getting a commission. That's called affiliate marketing. He's affiliated with the pharmaceutical company and he gets a cut for every sale he gets the pharma company. A lot of people don't realize that this is how it works. This is the fucking world we're living in. And so he actually has an agenda. He has an incentive to put that pill on you, to get you, you know, taking those pills daily 
So that way at the end of every month, when you got to get your prescription filled, you pay for it, it comes out of your pocket and that pharma company, the pharmaceutical company, they make money and then the shareholders get paid. So what if we could cut that all out? What if we could remove the depression, that mental illness and deal with it at the root cause? We can. And that's why we have things like mushrooms. That's why it exists. I truly believe that's why nature gave us these things. This is why nature, you know, created this stuff. Now we can get into other, uh, you know, things like LSD, right? There's a guy named Albert Hoffman who synthesized LSD. I think it's called lysergic acidic diethylene. I want to, I want to go, I probably butchered uh, saying that, but uh, Albert Hoffman, I think it was 1929 where he created it. Um, lysergic acid diethylamide. I was pretty fucking close, right? It's another uh, psychedelic that has been shown to fix a lot of these mental health issues and get you to the level you want to be at. Now, this isn't about LSD. This is about my experience with mushrooms, right? And so why have these things been created, right? Why have, has nature just given us things like peyote, things like ayahuasca, things like magic mushrooms, psilocybin mushrooms. I don't know. I truly believe it's like nature saying, yo, here, here's natural remedies. A lot of people also don't realize that most, pretty much all uh, drugs that pharmaceutical companies sell them come from plants. Pretty much all of them. They come from plants, then they are synthesized in a lab. They are studied and then they synthesize them in a lab and then mass produce them. So a lot of drugs come from plants like Viagra, right? The penis enhancement pill. Uh, if you look at what Viagra is actually made out of, it's made out of something called sidafinil. So let's search up what sidafinil is made out of. What is Viagra made out of? And by the way, I don't know this. I'm just Googling it. Sildenafil citrate actually originates in a lot of foods like maca, Right? It's a little powder um, that comes from, again, plants or saffron or fenugreek or tribulus, which is a small leafy plant whose roots and fruit are popular in traditional Chinese medicine. So again, all medicine comes from plants, right? All medicine originally comes from plants, but we, for some reason, have not been selling psilocybin as a natural remedy to depression. It blows my mind. So that's pretty much my advice to you is again, do your own research, but do not consider mushrooms just some drug that's gonna fuck your life up. I used to think only hippies take that shit, right? Or I don't wanna become a drug addict, but actually you can't become addicted to mushrooms. Again, do your own research, but you can't. It's just not gonna happen. Uh, if Here's a good example of this. If you were to take uh, a six gram dose of mushrooms, and then the next day you wanna get high, you'd have to take, I think it's like double the dose, right? And so if you try to take the same amount of mushrooms every single day, it's gonna get you less and less and less high, but not even how like you get a tolerance to like alcohol or other drugs like that, it doesn't really work like that. It pretty much means that if you wanna have the same mushroom trip that you did like the day before, you'd have to double it. And so pretty much within like a few days, you're gonna have to eat like a pound of mushrooms to get high and to get that same level high, which is impossible. You wouldn't even be able to get high. So it's almost like the mushrooms like naturally don't want you to get high. Even weirder than that, I've never had a mushroom trip that made me say, I wanna try more of this. Seriously, I never have. Almost every time I've done it, I just think, fuck. Wow, that was intense. Um, usually it's like an overwhelming experience, tripping balls, uh, sometimes I become like a little kid. I'm like, oh, I'm like a little kid. I'm like, woo, woo, yeah, you know what I mean? And then um, eventually you come out of it and I come out of this like moment of clarity where I'm just like awake again, like almost like a rebirth, okay? It's really weird. And I never really feel like I need it. I always feel like I didn't even need that. I just need to remember who I was as a man. That's usually what the experience is when I take mushrooms. Very fucking weird, right? Uh, and then there's also, I would say three main experiences I've experienced with mushrooms, three different types of trips, I would say. There's the life purpose trip, which is feeling, again, spiritually aligned, very confident, grounded in your reality. You come out of it just knowing who the fuck you are, what you want, right? And where you're going. 
Then there is the uh, letting go trip. Oftentimes it's a sad trip. This is what a lot of people would describe as a bad trip where you're just overwhelmed with emotions, crying, sad, you know, thinking about your ex, right? Just fucked up, right? Just, uh, I'm sad. I'm thinking about something traumatic that happened to you and then letting it go. And then uh, after letting that go, your mental health will improve in the weeks to come. And then the last one is like these weird spiritual ones. That's like, talk to a fucking fairy, you know, have this like gut instinct to like break up with a girl I'm dating and move to Australia, or just these weird fucking trips, like the trippy trips, right? That's what, like what most people think when they think about mushrooms is like tripping balls. That's like the other one. And they can definitely like intertwine, but I usually find that there is a common, like a main focus on any time you do the, one of these trips. So it could be any one of those, like a, you know, I'm the man trip, a letting go trip of like sad experiences. So like, I would call it like a crying trip, like a sad trip or a bad trip, uh, but it's not bad. It's like the trip you needed. And then like a spiritual woo one. But again, all of them will have a bit of overlap with the others. And uh, it's, it's pretty crazy. Uh, I just want to share that with you guys. I know it's a long rant. I know this is a fucking weird video. It's very strange. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. I would say don't count it out, man. Don't count it out. I think in the next five to 10 years, as uh, research develops, as you know, governments decide to you know, restrict and lay back uh, on the war on drugs, because they've lost the war on drugs. They've lost, okay? They lost it completely. Um, the only way to win the war on drugs, I, in my opinion, would be legalize all drugs or like decriminalize all drugs so that it's not a crime and you know, innocent people who are just trying to cope in life aren't getting arrested for no fucking reason, right? If you look at how marijuana is being legalized, I mean, it's legal in Canada now and it's being legalized in many, many states, right? I think the same thing is gonna happen to mushrooms uh, in the next five to 10 years, at least for pharmaceutical purposes, for research purposes. And that's already happening in places like Oakland. It's already happening in uh, different places around the world. And uh, it's really cool to see how this goes on and develops. And one thing that you should realize that is in the weeks after taking this stuff, your mental health can greatly fucking improve. It can really get you out of this like dark places you were in. I noticed that I was in some fucking dark places in my life and this shit got me out. Don't get me wrong, you don't need the drugs to get yourself out. You can get yourself out by yourself, uh, but it might require other things, right? Maybe therapy, maybe uh, deep, deep meditation. Almost all the experience you can get from mushrooms, you can get through meditation. Uh, I do this thing called Vipassana. I've done it twice, actually. It's a 10 day meditation retreat uh, where you go into a forest, you meditate for 10 days. It's very fucking intensive. It's almost comparable to a, uh, a mushroom trip, right? Very intensive. It's very therapeutic. You know, you're, you're dealing with your thoughts head on, similar to mushrooms, right? And so I would recommend anything where you're dealing with what's inside and dealing with what's in your head and inside yourself so you can come out of it a better person and come out of it more aligned with who the fuck you are as a human being. And so that's pretty much it. Mushrooms has been really beneficial uh, to provide that experience. Again, you don't need it. You can do things like meditation. You can do things like therapy. You can do things like breath work. You can do things like travel. You can do things like reading, right? But mushrooms can give you the direction that you might be looking for. And so that's my take on that. It is a very intensive and magical experience. And I would say don't count it out because it's changed my life. And uh, even if you decide that you don't want to do these heavy trips, you can always microdose, right? You can even buy them online. I literally bought some online, got shipped straight to my fucking door. And uh, it was crazy because it's so, oh my God, it's crazy. Like it comes in this nice little bottle and I don't know if I'm even allowed to show it on screen on a YouTube video, but it's this little fucking bottle, it has nice labeling, it comes in these like 100 milligram little, um, you know, capsules. I take it with my daily supplements. And I just find, I don't, it doesn't get me high at all, but I find over the course of the last few weeks that I've been taking it, I think the last like two to three weeks, my mental health has just been going up and up and up and up over time. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. My name is Justin Mark. Thank you so much for watching to my ridiculous mushroom rants, my experience with mushrooms. And uh, this has honestly changed my life. This shit changed my fucking life. Like two levels you couldn't even imagine. Five years ago, I was pretty much broke, um, depressed in a very weird fucking place, right? Now, I guess it's all perspective because I guess from a lot of people's perspective, I would have been considered rich or whatever the fuck, right? But like, again, I've, I've been to Ethiopia. I've literally walked on the streets in Ethiopia and I saw, I've seen poverty. 
at a very fucking intense level. And so I'm sure like anybody who's starving in the streets in Ethiopia or like anyone who's poor would have always considered me rich or whatever the fuck. But I remember five years ago just being depressed as shit. Just not mentally there. Lost his fucking life. Escaping with alcohol. Seriously. Right? There was a reason I called myself Drunk Justin. I was a borderline alcoholic. And uh, I would say the definition of an alcoholic is someone who just can't control their alcohol consumption or they're using it to cope. And that's what I was doing. I was using it to cope. And mushrooms helped me let go of that. I haven't drank in almost three years. Uh, it's crazy when I think about that. And it helped me let go of just a lot of baggage that was holding me back and just move on to a lot happier of a life. And since then, I've had so many amazing experiences. I've made friends with people I've always wanted to be friends with. And I've just lived an amazing fucking life to a point where like, if I were to die tomorrow, seriously, I die fucking happy, fulfilled, knowing I've lived life 10 times over. Seriously, I, I couldn't even imagine 10 years ago, even five years ago, living a life like I've lived right now. And I wouldn't say it's all thanks to mushrooms. I would say a lot of it's thanks to me making my life the life I wanted to live. But mushrooms definitely pushed me in the right direction and made me realize that I can get anything I fucking want out of this life. So. I'll talk to you guys very soon. If you're not following me on my social medias, make sure to do that. Links in the description or at the bottom of the screen. And uh, it's always great chatting with you guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's a very long rant, I know. Take care. See you guys soon.